Welcome back to the Sports Case. I'm your host, Casey Hudson. It's game three tonight. Puck drop at 6.30 at Amelie Arena. And the Bolts are finally playing in front of a home crowd for the first time in nearly two years. A playoff game, that is. And the guys already said throughout the week that they're just so excited for this opportunity. It's just going to make them have that much more momentum out there because they were fired up by the Panthers crowd down in Sunrise. So just imagine these guys in front of their home crowd. So I'm so stoked to see that tonight and bring you guys full coverage. But of course, we're here to recap game two. Game two was in Sunrise. And yes, game two did top game one. It was still just as exciting. The tension, of course, carried over from game one. But the one thing I will say before we start diving in period by period is that the Lightning did not give in to baby brother trying to piss them off the entire game. It's like the Florida Panthers game plan was to just go there and try to get under these guys skin all over again and fluster them and throw them off. And the bolts came in extremely disciplined, extremely composed. And the Florida Panthers ended up costing themselves at the end of the day, because they were the ones racking up most of the penalty minutes. If you look at the chart and the statistics of that night. So I'm more than likely guessing that they're going to try to come into tonight's game a bit more composed. So they don't cost themselves the game. But other than that, I still think we're in for some solid tension and a couple good fights. But like I said, we'll circle back to all of that in just a second. Now, recapping game two, the Bolts pull off a 3-1 victory, which was so, so, so exciting. So they now lead the series 2-0. Heading into that first period, it was different. It was different than game one. The Lightning had a lot more composure, as I mentioned before, a lot more discipline. But what was really playing into their favor is that the defense was playing a cleaner, more structured type game and it paid off for them. The Bolts had probably more or not probably the Bolts had more takeaways than the Florida Panthers throughout the entire game, but it really stacked in that first period. Now to add to how well they were playing, how structured they were playing and that they were forcing the Panthers to play their game that first period. They were also first on the board, thanks to captain Stammer. And then Andre Pilat. Andre Pilat had a heck of a game on uh, Tuesday night as well. Besides scoring a goal in the first period, he had a couple takeaways that evening, and he was just in the right place at the right time to help his team. So that was awesome. So first period goes to a Tampa Bay Lightning victory. Now heading into that second period, that second period we're going to have to give to the Florida Panthers because I think they kind of realized – oh crap, we're not playing our game, we're completely getting owned, we're not getting into the neutral zone as much as we want to, and we're not lighting up Bassey like we did in game one, which was to their benefit. So they started to clean up their game. They tried to reel in those penalties, but, you know, when you when you act like kid brother, you're just going to do kid brother stuff. That's the best way that I can put it, because I'm thinking of Lumberg, who's out there trying to get under everybody's skin. The you know first game was Bennett, but he was out. And then this game, it wasn't Lumberg trying to piss everybody off. It was Marchman, <laughs> who was in multiple guys' faces on the Lightning roster. He was just waiting for somebody to take the bait. And luckily, like I said, most of the guys were playing extremely disciplined hockey that night, especially you know throughout the entire game. But it was all also Marchment that got the Panthers on the board in the second period. So we'll give them period two. But then heading into period three, the Bolts still came back fiercely and strong, recommanding the game, forcing the Panthers to play their game yet again. Um, uh, Bassey is such an amazing goalie. It didn't look like they were heavily relying on him, which when they don't heavily rely on him, they're so much more – cleaner and you see the skill set of the guys on the Tampa Bay Lightning roster so much more. And then, you know, as the clock starts winding down, the other team pulls their goalie and Yanni Gord gets an empty netter, giving them their three goals for the night. So with that whole recap, oh, and one thing I cannot leave out, <laughs> David Savard laid Marchment out. That was probably one of the best parts of the entire game. Not because I'm over here wanting anyone to get hurt. Calm down, guys. It's just the fact that We've seen what David Savard can do physically on the ice when he was not playing with us. And since he got here, you've seen some physicality. But that was probably the first time I've really seen him just, like, own a guy. I mean, he completely owned Marchment. And luckily, nothing got called. It was just finally time to put baby brother in the corner, time out, slap on the wrist, and then kind of skate off the ice like nothing ever happened. Then he almost got Eric Chernak at one point to just completely lay him out. But... He's lucky that the refs got there just in time. So with all that being said, we still have tension. We still have a lot of great hockey ahead of us. It's only game three going off tonight. I want to know who you guys think 
is taking game three. Do you think the Lightning keep rolling? Do you think the Panthers finally get their first win of this series? My prediction, when you see the Lightning pull off a, a close game and then just completely own the next game, it's usually in their favor to own the following game. And it's because they have a consistency most of the time when they start striking a rhythm. This is a scary team to start finding their rhythm. Now, mind you, you know, Nikita Kucherov had just come back. They're working without uh, Barkley Goodrow, who is a huge asset to that team. So it's like if they can build off that structure of Tuesday night, I completely see them taking this game on top of the fact that they're playing in front of their home crowd and at home and they'll be home tonight as well as Saturday night. So I personally see it playing out with the Bolts winning tonight. I actually see them winning tonight, possibly losing Saturday and then closing out the series in game six. But we won't get ahead of ourselves. We'll stick to what's ahead at 630. And I'm going to take a 4-2 win. I think that they'll get four goals laid out out there this evening. So let me know you guys' predictions for the series as well as game three. And I'm just so stoked for more NHL playoff hockey. Guys, stay tuned as we bring you full coverage of this entire series and all the excitement, tension, fights, good plays, statistics, you name it. We're bringing it to you here at the Sports Case. Don't forget to follow us, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, as well as Twitter. I live tweet throughout the entire game. You can chat with me. You can disagree with me. You can agree with me. Whatever you guys think you know, is fun and fair. Hop on, follow, share, and I'll see you guys after game three.